and welcome to Lighten Up. I am your host, Suzanne Ross, and it is truly an honor and a privilege to be here today with Jim McCarty. Jim is one of the three members of the LL Research Group based out of Louisville, Kentucky, who are best known for their series of books called The Law of One Series. Thanks so much for joining us today, Jim. Well, thanks for having me, Suzanne. I'm really honored to be here. Yes, I was so delighted to get connected with your series of books, and it really happened through reading David Wilcox's uh, source field investigations, which in itself came about uh, quite synchronistically for me. But once I started diving into the books, I just couldn't get enough. I've read every one of the five books word for word, you know, time and again. Um, my father, before he passed, became very interested in the books. Oh, really? And I have to tell you something very touching. On his bedside, you know, while he was passing from cancer, he just wanted me to keep reading out of the Law of One series. Oh, how inspiring. That's beautiful. Thank you so much for telling me. <laughs> yes, thank you so much for making them available so that we can have wonderful, you know, revelations like that in our lifetimes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and so what I'd really like to do, Jim, is just really start by helping our audience understand, you know, how your group formed and a little bit of background information. It sounds to me like Don Elkins was really the impetus for the start of the group, and he really started this sort of psychic research back in 1962. Uh, that was the beginning of the channeling. He was interested in uh, UFOs back in the... Uh, as a senior in high school in 1948, uh, he did age regressions in the 50s to try to prove to himself that uh, reincarnation was the way things worked. So he started a long time ago as a high school senior trying to answer the, ask and answer the big questions. You know, what is life all about? Uh, how big is the universe? How does it work? So he uh, continued that process all the way through college. He became a professor of physics at the University of Louisville. And he did, did those regressions. He probably did about 200 regressions in the 1950s to uh, prove to himself that uh, reincarnation was really the way things work. And then in 1962, he came in contact with some information from a group in Detroit. A fellow there by the name of Walt Rogers had had a face-to-face -face encounter with a supposed extraterrestrial being. And as was frequently the case back in the 50s, he had what was called a, a lingering telepathic contact with this entity. And he was told by the entity, whose name was Hatan, this was a, uh, a planetary group uh, uh, that was speaking through uh, him, said, if you get together a number of people that are interested in spiritual growth and meditate at least once a week, that we can deliver some inspirational messages to you and you could uh, share them with others who are interested in uh, spiritual seeking. <laughs> 